What's up, milkers? Welcome back to another week and another episode. Happy Monday, everyone. The beer this week is called Shakezilla, and this is a strawberry sour IPA brought to us by the hardworking folks of Floyd County Brewing Company of New Albany, Indiana. Floyd County. It has a 7.2% ABV, and this is the latest variant of their milkshake IPA series. It's smooth, it's tart, a little sour, nice strawberry flavor, and an absolutely beautiful color. I highly recommend it. Floyd County Brewing Company put out a bunch of stuff on my recent trip there. Really good beers, really good atmosphere, medieval themed brewery, um, super cool stuff. You gotta check it out. Go get some Shakezilla Strawberry Sour IPA today, and let's get into the episode. Another round for the people, the great Pig Miller Army. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Comcast. As always, I am Ryan, your gracious, glorious, fucking sexiest book host. And joining me, as always, is Cody and our slappy, happy, fun time boy, Alec, once again, back in the studio. Woo! Yeah, so I would say dementia free, but I'm not 100% sure. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like mm -hmm. a duck. Well, we could like a new world. Duck. Yeah. Wake up in a new world every day. Everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> not just ducks. What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like a duck. I wake up in a new world every day. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently <laughs> ducks. Is this some like, is this some Freudian concept? I think ducks just wake up and they're like, I'm a duck. <laughs> Scientific, <laughs> scientifically verified on the Comcast. Ducks have dementia. Yeah. <laughs> We're just like, I'm a duck. I swim in the lake. Because my daddy owned the lake. The highest aspiration for a duck is to be the old lady on uh, the notebook. <laughs> Never seen the notebook. Huh? Never seen the notebook. Really? Don't know what you're talking you about. Never seen it? Why the fuck would I watch it? It's a good movie. Do overall. I want to cry? I cried when Dobby died. I don't need to watch the notebook. <laughs> I think the no I think I think that everybody I think the notebook is one of those movies that everybody should watch once like the notebook, the Titanic. Stuff like that. Like a national lampoon movie. Just like that's different, not the notebook. The Titanic and the Notebook are literally the same premise. Two people fall in love in the most extreme circumstances, and then they wind up dying. Enemy at the Gates. The van, but they oh, end yeah. up living. Yeah, Enemy at the Gates, but that's the one with Cillian Murphy, right? No. No? Mm -hmm. Who is it? Um, I don't know. There's Jude Law. My Jude boy. Law. Jude Law. That's who it is. I love Jude Law. Yeah. Jude oh, Law is also great. Yes. Yes, he is. And the chick from The Mummy. The wife. Whatever her name is. Yeah. Enemy of the Gates is one of those where you're just like, if you haven't seen it, you got to fucking see it. There's also one with fucking Owen Wilson where he's like that pilot in the army. Uh, or behind the Enemy Lines. Behind Enemy Lines. That's a fucking good one, too. Yep. Have you seen Enemy at the Gates, Alex? Yeah, that's a sniper movie, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's fucking good, dude. But yeah, the one with Owen Wilson uh, behind Enemy Lines, that's a fucking, you don't think about it, that's a fucking good one, too. It's crazy that Owen Wilson's in it. Wow. <laughs> it's not you I know me. it's like his one like right it's not you me his one like <laughs> battle career scene yeah it's not it's, it's not how I met your no, I'm not how I met your mother he's not in that yeah it's not me you you mean Dupree or uh, Drillbit Taylor yeah that's the other that's the only other military role he had yeah. it was Drillbit Taylor a bum a bum wow. a military bum wow wow <laughs> yeah you don't think about that but like it's the certain the, those certain movies like everybody should at least watch like like I said Everybody's seen the Titanic. If you haven't, fucking educate yourself. Watch it once. 
there's a reason why it's one of the greatest movies of all time. Star Wars. Like, everybody everybody should watch at least the first Star Wars movie. You know what I mean? And there's certain movies that you have to at least watch one time. Like, and, and, and um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But like I said, like, National Lampoon. You at least watch the first one. You should watch Porky's. <laughs> Upper Decker, dude. Porky's is also one of those uh, cult classics. Yes. Like, uh, for instance, Pulp Fiction. Everybody should literally watch Pulp Fiction. Yeah. I, like, you don't even have to watch Dust Till Dawn. It. And not Mystic You've Pizza. never seen Pulp Fiction? No. Never watch Mystic Pizza because it's dumb. <laughs> I have seen it so many times with you guys. You, you I've know, never you seen like it. it. I've heard you like it. <laughs> it's <laughs> stupid. Myst- Mystic Pizza is also a cult classic. It's a, it's a shittier version of Diner. No, it's not. And Diner has way better actors. There's no pizza in the diner. So? It's a, it's a, just a, it's a shittier version of Diner. No, it's not. Julia Roberts is in it. It's fucking teenage angst and love and somebody falls for a dad that she's babysitting. Yeah. No. She's babysitting the kids and falls for the dad. No, the dad fucks her. The dad's hot. The dad's good looking, And she's like 16. So? Young love. Gross. (laughs) Young love in a small town in Maine. That's how it happens. Yeah. Where all you have we to do... We definitely don't have sex with underage women, do we, Alec? Where all you have to do... <laughs> <laughs> where all you have to do is literally... Like, all you have to live for is being a fucking fisherman. Or a, or one of the ladies on the dock that just cleans fish all fucking day. It's a, it's a true love story. Right. It so is. is Jaws. Mystic Pizza. <laughs> Jaws is also another one you should at least watch the first one. Jaws is another one. Same Nine. shit. 90 kids go in the water, 89 come out. No, shark it's like fucking, it's like 60 come out. Like f- the shark ate 30 people <laughs> in the span of 10 minutes. Fucking it's ins- like Alec at a buffet. Instagram, yeah. I've been watching Instagram reels. That shit is legit like fucking crazy because it's just like, oh, this is hidden, but they don't give a shit. All you click is see reel anyway. And like there was somebody getting eaten by a shark on there. It was Jesus. nuts. Where's crazy? The one where it's like, ranch. uh, do you still want to watch it? Like that one? Yeah. Yeah. It's like hidden content. Uh, everybody's been talking about like um, the TikToks on the, the North Sea TikToks. And it's like, yo, ho. And I'm like, I'm so tired of hearing that fucking song. But it puts an ominous feel to the whole like North Sea TikTok shit. And it's like, but it's like, have you guys watched North Sea TikTok? I'm like, you guys didn't know that literally any job that deals with the North Sea is like the most dangerous job on the fucking planet. Yeah. Like, like everybody's like, oh, deadliest catch. That's one of the most dangerous jobs on the fucking planet. Yeah. People underwater welding, another one of those most dangerous jobs on the planet. Yeah, it's like witch talk. Any, the reason why you get your canned tuna is for people that are in the North Sea. Mm-hmm. Like, that's literally any, any kind of, like, the reason why people in Alaska have food is because of people in the North Sea. They don't drive that shit there. It goes on a fucking boat. Like, that's literally it. Everybody's like, oh, North Sea TikTok. Couldn't fucking believe it. I'm like, who do you think you get your shit from? Big boat. How do you think, how do you think, like, how do you think that, like, do you, do you think shipping docks with all those shipping containers are just, like, empty? Like, there's nothing in them? Well, that's I how mean, you get everything. They don't, they're just kids who grew up on the internet and don't know anything. Yeah. It was like, I saw this video of this little girl. She was, like, four. And was, they were in a restaurant. And, like, oh, see that? And she was like, what's that? And, like, that's chicken. You know how you like chicken nuggets? That's where chicken nuggets comes from. She's like, like actual chicken. Yes, an actual like yeah. live chicken outside of the restaurant. And um, she was like, but, and she just like became a vegan all of a sudden. She's like, but chickens work really hard to lay eggs. So couldn't we just eat their eggs and keep the chickens because they work so hard to make those eggs? Let's just eat eggs. They don't work that hard to lay eggs. I know, but she was it's like, a natural. Process. She was four. Yeah. And she's like, they work really hard. The, the, the chickens. A four year old became a vegan. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, she's like, well, but they work really hard to lay eggs. Well, let's just eat the eggs and not the chickens. Yeah. Because they work so hard to lay these eggs. They don't work that hard. It's literally a natural process. Well, they explain that them. to a fucking four year old. The reason. Uh, they don't work that hard. It just slides right out, dear. So now I'm going to be a vegan? <laughs> like, that she's them- four! Why would a four year old want to be a vegan? Because she doesn't want to kill chickens. Because she's sweet and innocent. You don't have to kill chickens. She's not a 31-year-old monster. You don't have to <laughs> fucking kill chickens to, to eat get their chickens? eggs. To get chickens? No. To eat their eggs. That's what I mean. Yeah. She was like, oh, you know how you like chicken nuggets? She's like, yeah. I was like, that's where chicken come from. She's like, 
But we don't have to kill them. We can just eat their eggs, right? Everybody can just eat eggs. We don't have to kill them, right? She, just, she realized that killing, she didn't want to kill chickens. I pride myself on how many chickens I can eat every week. Oh, good God. Yeah. Well, fuck my it. story, then. It was supposed to be cool and sweet. It. That's not. Cody's like, they don't, it, logically, like, chickens, it's, they just, it, it automatically chickens lay eggs and, like, I they do. love chicken. Well, I love chicken too. I yeah, I love if, chicken. If, if I had a kid, but she's four. If and I she, had a four-year-old, and I was like, "Why don't we just eat the eggs?" We're like, "You can, but you like chicken nuggets, right?" And she's like, "Yeah." I'll be like, "Do you want to keep eating chicken nuggets?" No. Okay, we don't eat chicken nuggets anymore. Oh, good you God. want a hamburger? Same fucking thing. Yes, it is. I think everybody. I think everybody that's in high school should take a field trip to a slaughterhouse because they eat food. Cause they eat meat. Oh, I think they should take a trip to the slaughterhouse. Everybody see, says I'm a terrible person. See how it actually, see how it fucking uh, works. It's not, they don't lay the cows. I'm not taking a four-year-old to a slaughterhouse. No, not a four-year-old, like a high school. Like somebody in high school. Like you, like like a junior, senior class. You don't know how many filter. tears are going to run out of this, those kids' faces? They're going to They should understand They're going to taint it. the meat. There's going to be so many tears. <laughs> they're they're like 18. It's so? like a senior. You take a senior field trip to a slaughterhouse. You have to see how the fucking process works. You can't be naive to it the whole fucking time. It just doesn't, like, it doesn't exist. It's like Fast Times at Ridgemont High when they took him to a morgue. And they yeah. opened up that body. It's a natural fucking thing you should be able to understand. Same reason why, like, there's videos that I see all the time. It's like, why aren't we teaching our kids about finance? Like, actual, like... Here's how you pay your bills. Like, when we were in middle school, we learned how to balance a checkbook. Nobody uses a fucking check anymore. Yeah. Like, you should learn. There should be a class on budgeting. There should be a class on how how to pay your bills. There should be a class on how to substantially, like, moderate your money to be able to pay your fucking rent every day. Because nobody's going to own a fucking house in 20 years. We're all going to fucking rent. The only people who can own a house have to make two hundred plus thousand dollars a year, and then even then, they're going to struggle. Like that's how it's going to work. But there's no educational like when, unless you're a teacher. When the fuck have either of you used algebra? Algebra? Mm-hmm. Fucking when? Every When's day. the last time you used out bullshit? Every day. How many? You've used you've used multiplication. How many beers can my buddy tolerate? You've used <laughs> you've used you've used simple multiplication. You pull out a fucking calculator. If you got to divide yeah. or multiply, when's the last time either of you, unless you're a fucking teacher or professor, and you're teaching kids how to do algebra, when the last time you used a fucking fraction? When? Every day. When? I use square roots every day. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. Yes, I do. Use a square root. Yeah. For what? Uh, inspections. God. <laughs> what? Yeah. You say so you use square root of 32... However many total, whatever it is, you square root it plus one. I had oh. I had a very good paying job and a very good role. All I, all I did, multiplication. Look at you now. Multiplication. Killing and, the youth. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not killing the fucking youth. Never mind, you're killing adults. I don't force people. <laughs> With I, alcohol. I work at a brewery. I don't force people to drink. They come to drink. You're a bad person. I make their experience. Again. No, no, I'm not. Just, yeah, think, just think how many people you give DUIs to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> They're adults. Think about that. I am directly responsible. How many homes you've broken because of alcoholism? <laughs> it's not my fault they drink too much. How many times you peer pressured this man sitting here? It's to my drink job alcohol. to make sure I don't overserve somebody. I know. And if they're not overserved by my hand, I don't care. They're, you're an adult. <laughs> you choose to come there to partake in alcohol. I'm surprised. It is not my fucking fault that you want to drink. I'm surprised last That's time. That's not my problem. If, if everybody's just like, I want to be sober, guess I got to find a new job. Who gives a fuck? It's not my problem that people want to drink. I'm surprised last night, old boy even poured him a beer. <laughs> because he was, he was pretty, he was <laughs> he fucking, was pretty fucked I told, up. That's why I kept telling you to fucking straighten up and look like you're alive because he was fucking staring at you. Well, he tried uh, talking And to I the, know the feeling. He tried talking to the guy and he was like, no, oh, I'll take one of those. And the guy was like, what, huh? Which one? He was like, I'll take one of those. <laughs> at the same cold. Oh, I'm surprised he served me too. No. That's the thing. We had one beer and you, he had, you, he gave you one beer and you paid and you fucking came there with us. Like, mm-hmm. there's also like, that's why we were like, "Hey, look like you're fucking alive." You getting yeah, you getting pizza last night was the most stressful carry on thing a fucking I've conversation with us because like if I was the bartender and you were just kind of like slumped there, I'd be like, "Hey man, you good?" Like, and I like there's a difference between 
wobbling into the bar mm. and walking straight into the bar, and then you gradually off that. Sorry, but you had some tef- technical difficulties. Anyway, they don't. Yeah. They didn't. They don't hear anything. It's just stop and then play again. I know, <laughs> but I'm explaining to it because it's going to be hard to fucking piece together and pin together. Apologize for our brief interruption. I was going to say that's never happened before, but yeah, from your schedule, I'm surprised so. that he even got a beer. And then you ordering pizza was the fucking most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like you scan through the Avers menu of their pizza six times. And just, we went through real slow and read everything. You like, and you already knew what you wanted, so I didn't even know why you even fucking looked at it. And then you started clicking buttons. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, oh, I'll order, is this okay? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I was like, what do you want? You honestly, you want tomato sauce? Yeah. You want Your quoted tagline, is that okay? Yeah. You want mozzarella? Yeah. What kind of toppings do you want on it? Sausage, pepperoni. Beef. <laughs> Who the fuck he did too? Who the fuck order? If you order, if you order crumbled the whole beef, hog. If you order, and I'm pretty sure they have a meat pizza on there. And he was just like, if you, yeah. Yeah. I think the most sadistic shit you can put on a fucking pizza is crumbled beef. I think it's fucking disgusting. Pe- ground beef does not belong on a fucking pizza. When I used to deliver pizzas, I told the story before. I delivered this pizza. It was like $25 for a medium pizza. He had every single fucking meat topping on this pizza and anchovies. Really? Anchovies were not ordered. Yep. No, no, no. When, oh. I, when I delivered pizzas oh, okay. for, for a summer gig between college, this guy, it was a medium pizza, and he ordered every single fucking meat we had. And here's the thing. like When you order anchovies at a pizza place... They don't get ordered that often, so they're not just, like, on the make line in a container. They literally pull them out of the fridge per order and, like, pull it out of the fucking can and, like, put them individually on the pizza. And we just throw the fucking rest of the can away because they're not going to get ordered for, like, months. Mm -hmm. So, like, anchovies is not one of those things if you order it from a pizza place, they're just there. It just sounds disgusting. So, when I delivered this pizza, he had all that shit on that pizza and, like, extra cheese. It weighed a fucking metric shit ton. It was a $25 medium pizza. This That's... is the guy that came out in his underwear? No, not that guy. <laughs> so, 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 when I, when I, it was literally, like, a three-minute drive. So, I just, like, put it in the box. It smelled so fucking bad that it was the middle of summer. After I delivered it, like, I was like, what the fuck's this thing look like? I opened the box before I delivered it, and I was like, this looks fucking disgusting. <laughs> and it, just the smell wafted in my truck. My truck stank for hours. Well, it's like all you left it, day. That's nothing. You left a crave case in the back of my truck that one time, and it smelled like White Castle burgers for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but but it was the nastiest And it was fucking, winter. Oh. It was Cody a, would just get a crave case and eat half of it on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the nastiest fucking pizza I think I've ever delivered. The weirdest experience was I delivered it to a hotel and this dude answered the door in his fucking underwear. And then his like wife or mistress or whoever the fuck was just laying on the bed. I can see her in the background. She's like, is that the pizza? Is the pizza here? And he had like just a long t-shirt on and he had, all I could see was his legs. He had no pants <laughs> from what I could tell. So either he was naked underneath or he had underwear on. I don't know. <laughs> but it was at a hotel. And that was another weird experience. I had my first day, there was one night we were at a bonfire when I first got this job. I talked for two hours solid about three or four specific events on my first day. And that was day. the funniest part because everybody's like, oh man, how long have you been doing? I was like, it's my first fucking day. <laughs> it was my first day. It was my first day. And all those deliveries were fucking weird. It was like four or five of them. It was fucking weird, dude. I talked for like two hours. Yeah. Drunk as shit. Everybody was cackling. Like, it was my first day. Like, I literally, it was like, I got, the, like, I did my first day and I wasn't working the next day. So we went to this bonfire and literally, it was the day after, fresh in my mind. Being a pizza delivery driver, you see some fucking weird shit. You talk to some nice people, but you see some weird fucking shit, man. People are very, very particular. It's so crazy. I almost hit a chihuahua one time, and the whole fucking pizza slid into the goddamn floor. That was rough. I think you should have just take one. Bit, should have bit the bullet. It's not well, like, no, nobody's gonna miss that. Well, dog. I checked it. I checked it. I checked the pizza because it had like one of those little plastic things in it. So I checked it afterwards, and it just kind of shifted a little bit. So I just kind of like 
shifted the box back over so it looked uh, in the center. And, like, some of the cheese was, like, on the top of the box. Not my fault. But it was an extra large pizza. Those things are hard to fucking contain. And then they ordered that same order. They ordered, like, fucking... Like, when you order a certain amount of sauces, we can't fit them in the box, like, in the corners. Mm-hmm. So we, like, just bring a little bag. There was, like, eight... Eight fucking sauces. Now you know how it feels. It was to a be whole you. bag of sauce. That was you at Little Caesars in college. I was like, let me get two of the jalapeno ranch, two of the chipotle cheddar, two of this, two of this, two of this. You had thirty sauces, and like that was more than your fucking pizza. Those things were good, bro. The hot and ready. Yeah, they were like yeah, fifty boy. cents each. Can't wait till they come to our hometown, Little Caesars. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're getting one. Mm-hmm. Why does it fucking matter, guys? It's a little Caesar. Yes, I like Little Caesars. But this is you're talking to the man who loves Casey's pizza. <laughs> Casey's gas You love pizza. Casey's pizza. Yes. Yeah, it's two for ten dollars. It's <laughs> so good. Casey's pizza is okay. It's so good. It's it's so okay. good. The, the, the weird deceiving they part. They do is, make the really thin crust and it is pretty crunchy. The weird deceiving part is when they when you get like a pepperoni pizza, it they put the toppings under the cheese. Yeah. Cool. They do. You never notice that? Sometimes. He's pissed around. Sometimes they do. <laughs> pizza! <laughs> no, I have to pick it up after work because I can't drive Pick that it up long. after work, get pissed around, and eat it cold. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne used to swear by Fazoli. She eat the shit out of Fazoli. I, pr- I swear she still does swear by Fazoli. Oh, she does. She's like, I want some fucking Fazolis. Yeah. I haven't had that in ages. And I had a piece one time. I was like, you know what? This isn't terrible. Like, it's yeah. it's not good, but I was like, it's not terrible. I've definitely had worse. I still need to go to Olive Garden. I've never been to Olive Garden. Why waste your fucking time at Olive Garden? <laughs> uh-huh. do, you know what, do you know how many fucking actually nice pasta Free bread. places? <laughs> do you know how many actually nice pasta places are here in this fucking town? A lot. Yeah, Why the more. fuck would you waste your time I don't with that know. frozen freezer bag bullshit? I don't know. Olive Garden is Why fucking... Not? Anybody, not. anybody thinks Olive Garden's not trash, you're dumb. I think Olive Garden not is the worst. That's the same thing with Oak Charlie's. People love Oak Charlie's. I think you're dumb if you think Olive Garden is not trash. Oh. You got it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> one of the guys from work, he we I went to that. we went to Oak Charlie's one time, and I he got he got steak and lobster, and I was like, bad move, bud. Bad move, bud. Bad move, bud. No, everybody knows when you go to fucking Oak Charlie's, you got to get the chicken tenders, bro. Those things are fire. I still wanted to get the chicken farm because it's like a fucking uh, tray. Of chicken farm. Oh my god. That thing's fucking huge. Oh, Charlie's is not bad. It's I standard. It's cookie cutter shit. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, Cracker Barrel. Fuck Cracker Barrel, Cracker man. Barrel's not good. None what? of it's none of it's good. None of it's like, man, you know what I'm craving? Fucking Cracker, Cracker Barrel. Barrel. <laughs> you know what I'm craving? Olive Garden. I was going to say, the only thing is I crave is fucking wings and sushi. That's the only thing I really crave. Yeah, sometimes I'm craving Subway for some weird reason. Mm. I don't know why. Sometimes I just crave Subway. Because there's one right down the road from my house, and I'll smell it sometimes. I'm like, fuck. This smells so fucking good. But if I had to pick, dude, Penn Station all the fucking way, dude. Penn Station is too good. greasy. No, it's not. Depending on what you get. Don't get the greasy kind. No, get the, I got the Philly last time, it is, and it, it, it's very greasy. But I, I usually get the, a grilled club. So I, what, they, what's, it's, it's the, yeah, the grilled club. The grilled the club. Chicken, turkey the breast, chi- turkey yeah. breast, bacon. Yeah, that one's good, too. And, uh. Uh, the honey mustard and a fucking large ass fry, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, their fries are I so fucking good. good. Anybody that doesn't like skin on your fucking French fries is a communist. <laughs> if you opt for no skin on your French fries, you're a commie, bro. I was so happy when back in the day when Wendy's is like, we got skin on fries. Fuck yeah, you do. Got skin on fries. Your fries got a spine now. Hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck Olive Garden. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. Fuck Olive Garden. Um, it's just, I mean, everything's decent if you want decent stuff. Everything's decent. Like, you know, we eat the same pizza place regularly when we go have some beers, but like, that's actually decent. Just because like, it's right next door. <laughs> but but it's also, great. it's <laughs> also, it's also decent. Like, it's, it's not like, oh my God, this is the best pizza ever. It's also decent. Like, it's still good. Yeah. And then like, it, it's, it's better than Papa John's. I would rather mm. have that than fucking Papa John's. Right. Somebody ordered Pop Papa John's the other day, and I was like, this is fucking the grossest shit ever. The new one in Bedford has a drive-thru. So you can order pizza and then pick it up at the drive-thru. It's weird. Pop Papa John's? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's a new building. New concept. Pizza Hut's still better, though. 
Really. Everybody think everybody thinks Domino's is the king now. I do. I think Domino's is good. Didn't they fuck your shit up when they did? Got fuck, they fucked it up. It was free though, so I can't complain. But they fuck it up that bad. Yeah, it's not even the same thing I well, ordered. He, he got a free pizza and he ordered something and he got home and he's like, "This is not what I ordered <laughs> at all." I, I because I do like for Domino's, they do get the beef, pepperoni, and sausage. You're you fucking your beef. gross. Me, yeah, I don't me, eat beef. Me. I don't eat beef, but only on a pizza. Oh, medium. Do you hand toss? So it was so. free, or it was free after they fucked it up. It was redeemed. Points redeemed. Oh, so okay. free medium. That means he gets there, eats there a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so what you ordered? Pepperoni, sausage, and fucking ground ass beef on your pizza. Yeah. And what did it come as? Uh, and it came as a well done Philly with uh, tomato sauce. And it was cut in the squares. So <laughs> it's not even fucking close. They had the beef part, right? Yeah. You still ate it though, didn't you, bitch? I did. The yeah, next, of course you did. I had two slices, well, two squares. I had two squares. I mean, and then, so, I and then I so. ate it. It was hard as a rock. I mean, it was, Oh, it was extra well done. Yes. Who the fuck wants an extra well done pizza? <laughs> it was so bad. They basically just gave you the wrong one. Well, I remember I went, yeah. I went to Penn Station one time, and they there was... This lady... Somebody else got your pizza, and they're yeah. like, who the fuck orders ground beef on their pizza? Well, who, the, who doesn't get a well See, I pizza? went to Penn Station one time, and it took and it took them 35 minutes to make these people, because it was uh, this lady, and the other people she was with didn't speak English. I think they were uh, Chinese, or maybe Korean or something, and they went to Penn Station, and she, she ordered for them, but there was... Uh, they were some kind of Asian descent. Uh, anyway, okay. Um, there was it was her and three of her family members, and they all got large Philly cheesesteaks, ran through the oven twice. So they had to they ran it through the oven. Oh my god! And then he had to like take it back around. Life. It you did. know, there's only two people. I sat that there for 45. Usually, I sit there for like 20 minutes. I know what I expect when I go there because they make it, then they put it through the oven, then they top it, then they get the fries ready and do all. That. I, I expect to sit there for at least 20, 25 minutes, just chilling. You know, I'll get, like, a lemonade or something and just sit there and hang out playing my phone. Um, but, like, I did, I sat there for almost an hour because they had to put these people's Philly cheesesteaks in the oven twice. Why? Well, did they eat there after that? Yes. Why did they put it They all twice? got Philly cheesesteaks, ran through the oven twice. Yes. Double meat, too. Why? I don't know. God. Jesus Christ. I bet that was, like, a $200 order. <laughs> Probably. That's insane. I mean, every time I go there, I spend, like, 20, you know there's 22. And also, there's, like, two... There's only, like, two people at a time behind the counter. Yeah. So you know that this is like, uh, I'm going to need some fucking help. Yeah. <laughs> every time... Like, I, would never, I bet they looked like hibachi chefs back there fucking cooking all that goddamn yeah. meat. I never, like, went there to go get it. I always door dashed it. Oh. And... With me and Jennifer, and it was like sixty, seventy dollars every fucking time. Goddamn awesome! To get two subs and fries, two and just subs, fries, and two large drinks. Yeah, it costs like seven, sixty, seventy bucks. Plus to get like it delivered, lights, tip and delivery. Yeah, Jesus Christ, yeah, dude! I don't. Yeah. I, I usually don't. get it on my way home. Yeah, I'd never recommend DoorDash in there because it is expensive at the store too. I think so. I mean, I paid twenty two bucks last time, but my Taco Bell orders thirty five bucks. So yeah, because <laughs> you get nine things. <laughs> yeah, you can't even fucking eat it all. Uh, yeah. Which I did go back and get their chicken flatbreads because they brought them oh, back. Fire. <laughs> they don't look the same. They're into a taco now, not a sandwich. Uh, I mean, they're still in a flatbread, but beef. see, last time it was like it was nice because they put a bunch of chicken, a bunch of cheese, and they had like this. Um, like Baja, like spicy kind of sauce they yeah. put on it. I wasn't really impressed with it this time. They also folded them like a taco. They weren't like yeah. two like individual flatbreads. Well, it used sandwich. to be. A, it used to be just a square, like yeah. a square pita, and like they would a square just, sandwich. Yeah, yeah. and then we fold. I liked it. it was okay. I got that. And You've was... never had them before because you were a child when they came out. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we were. In, we we were in high school when we they were first 18. came out. I used to get six. Of we them. were 18. You were fucking 14. I used to get six of them and a crunch wrap. How old are you? And I would eat the fucking Holy shit out of those. You were like fucking eleven. <laughs> I was like that lady last night asked me. If you were you had high aspirations to fucking get an A in fucking math class that in lady, elementary school. That lady asked me if you were my son. <laughs> no, yeah. what? Who looks who? You you either look old or you look fucking young. No, she's just like, is that your son? Well, I saw you guys sitting together, and I was like, no, I'm thirty one, and he's. 24. <laughs> I was like, and she's like, well, I'm 45 and I have a 21 year old son. And I was like, yeah, I'm not. You're not 20. Though. You're not. A, you're not eight years apart. Yeah. You're fucking 20. Something and she was like, apart. oh, you want to dance? And I was like, oh, no, no, no we're leaving. Thanks, though. 
this woman just yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking seven years apart, not twenty something years apart. Yeah, it was weird. That makes no yeah, fucking. Is sense. that your son? <laughs> like, if I had a son like that, he the would fact not, that he <laughs> would not be my son. The fact that you had to reiterate that you're thirty one and he's twenty four, and then she's like, "Well, I'm," and then she provides an example that she's forty five and her son's twenty one. That's twenty four years apart, not seven. Yeah, that makes no fucking sense. That maybe, makes zero sense. Maybe I just look like a dad. Maybe you just look fucking old and raggedy. Do you I look, look like old, a baby? Do I look old and raggedy? No. Yeah, exactly. I don't think you should ever grow facial hair back because <laughs> you've looked different. <laughs> Where did we go? Oh, you pulled out. Oh, you pulled out your wallet because they thought you were going to ID you at Seymour Brewing Company. You think? Didn't you? You, no, he, he always thinks, he always pulls out his ID. Did you pull out your ID yesterday? Yeah, he pulled out his wallet because he thought they were going to. Oh, you you literally pull out your out. ID every single time, and nobody. <laughs> your wallet's probably with the rest of your shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. You literally never. You always pull out your fucking wallet, and I'm like, they didn't ask. And you no. go, it's just habit. I'm like, put your wallet away. I think they did ID a big lug, didn't they? Maybe not. She no, she didn't. He uh, pulled his wallet out. Yeah, I'm like, he, stop he, it. He always does. I was like, they didn't ask. Yeah, they always. The do. only place it does is wings and rings. Really. When you get beer? Well, I mean, they did ask. Not even before I get beer, before I even walk over, over yeah. to the bar. and then the- You know why? You know why they do that? Places that ID everybody have gotten in trouble for not IDing. Yeah. Oh. Um, well, exactly remember why? When we did go to Wings and Rings, uh, she, she only ID him. But she didn't ID us. Because she knows us. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, the, seriously, like, the people that ID everybody have gotten in trouble for it. The, the Circle K that I stop at to get gas um, on the way home from work, uh... They literally ID everybody. It doesn't matter how fucking old you are. They're like, can I see your ID? And I'm like, and, and like, there's like, a, it's, it's, she's like 50 years old in front of me. I'm not going to assume, but she she's an older lady. Like, she had gray hair. As for, uh, as for the ID, like, oh, she's older. Like, there's no way she's under 21. Yeah. But they asked her because you've gotten in trouble for it. That's why. The only people that, like, religiously do that, you've gotten in trouble for it. I'll never go to this circle, okay, down here. By my work over here. I'll yeah. never go there again. Because every time I go there, there's always like a crackhead sitting outside wanting to pull her popper money. I'm like, I'm never fucking going back here. And all the people okay. the people that work there are always... The one sh- in the V of the road? Yes. Oh, fuck that place. I went in there one time to get gas. And I walked in and I was like, nope, turn around. I was like, I'll get, I was going to get like a... I was going to get like a, a fucking bottle of water or something. I walked inside and I was like, nope. I'll just go back and fill up my gas tank and go the Last time one. I went, the guy behind the counter was tweaking. The guy the work, the guy that was working there and I was like, what the fuck is going on? That's a fucking This used to be a nice place. <laughs> no, it didn't. No, it never was. That's a, nice a fucking place. ass gas station. Gas stations also called me, but they scan my ID. Really? Yeah. They don't look at it. They it's the easiest scan. way to do it because, because if it scans correctly, it's real. Because it's hard to, uh, it's hard to copy the uh, pattern, the scan pattern on the back of your ID. It's hard to copy that, so they scan it to make sure it's real. Yeah, that's what that's what bars do too. Mm-hmm. Scan it and put it under a black light. Well, it's like I went to lunch with somebody at a Mexican restaurant, the one right down here, and um, we went there and like I just I got a Corona with a lime, and uh, they got there and they just automatically pulled out their ID and showed it to her, showed it to the the waitress, and she was just like. Okay, and like looked at it. <laughs> it's like you didn't need to do that. Yeah. Unless they ask, don't pull your wallet out. <clears throat> Got <Going> up order. <laughs> we do actually. Yeah. We do actually. Like it, it was good, wasn't it? I did. I was looking for it, but the color. Yeah, I, I couldn't see that one. He had to tell me what it was. <clears throat> Which one? You had to tell me what half of those ones were yesterday. I couldn't oh yeah, see it. It's fucking dark. In they, there. they were kind of hard to read, but yeah, yeah. Shout out to Seymour Brewing Company. This is a very, very cool spot. I fucking told you. And their fucking Christmas seltzer or whatever it was was tasted like just like strawberry. That was good. It was very good. Gave it to me for free. The guys are really cool too. They gave us free stickers and everything. Yeah, since Cody's in the industry. <laughs> My dad goes. You fucking joke. He goes. He's a fucking talker, ain't he? He's a fucking talker, ain't he? <laughs> he is when I was talking to the owner. Yeah, yeah I'm a fucking talker. But he's you an told intro- him I was an introvert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see how that's deceiving? And then I told them afterwards that I was like, he told you guys I was an introvert. I'm not. <laughs> and, I mean, Gary's a talker, too. Yeah. yeah, you literally told him I was an introvert, and I was going to show... The, you literally said I I screwed uh, up. A, you, said Cody's an, you said Cody's an introvert. He's gonna show you guys 
what like how to order and like what how, like how to you know communicate to breweries so you don't feel uncomfortable. That's not how it works. I screwed up. I meant to say incest. <laughs> yeah. And then your dad's like, he's a fucking talker, ain't he? Yeah, because I'm not an introvert. And then we got your dad's mixed up. <laughs> we did. We did. Hard I feel core. bad. Because <laughs> he, I, and I feel fucked up. He's like, my dad even, looks like even, me. I was like, oh, yeah, Gary totally looks like It was like, he was even, my like name's Tim, and shook our hand and shit. And I was like, and then we both got a fucked up. <laughs> we both got a fucked up. Yeah, I thought Gary was your dad. I did forever. We don't. Me and Gary don't look alike. No, yeah, I, I didn't. Huh? That, that didn't click on our brain. Huh? Okay. Huh? It didn't. Click there ain't no way. It For some reason, on. I thought your dad was Gary. Yeah, I did too. I like Gary. Gary, but then I realized that Gary was talking more, and then I was like, "Oh, that does make sense." Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Your dad said about as many words as you did." Yeah, which none. Is fucking five. Uh -huh. <laughs> you said enough to order a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. In the cow zone. In the cow zone. They didn't have a fire me while subs out. They had fire. Everything was good, dude. Yeah, and your dad. Your dad just has the same comments as you do, too. He's like, pretty small, ain't it? My meatball sub. And I was like, I said, it ain't, it's eight inches. And he's like, I ain't never seen eight inches. I was like, me neither, bud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fucking good, dude. It was. The cheese pull on that fucking meatball sub? Yeah, that was It was. It was fire. The cow's those are fucking massive. Yeah. They're not. Mm. That's what I had last time. The pizza was fucking good. Because it was weird, because I thought, just thought it was Seymour Brewing Co., but it's Brooklyn... Brooklyn Pizza Company or Brooklyn something? Pizza Company. Yeah, so it was a pizza company, and from what the guy said... He put the brewery in there. Yeah, he just... He was doing carry-out beer. If you ordered pizza, you could also do, like, a side, like, carry-out beer if you wanted it, and now it's a brewery now, and it's really cool. Um, it's a really nice place. Yeah, we need to go when it's warm out and watch the bands play. We do need to do that. Yeah. It's a cool spot, man. That's I the thing. I wish you weren't working next Saturday, because they're doing uh, the Bing Bong the uh oh, the, the, the yeah the yeah the a variant of uh, five different variations, five different variations. Of the style yeah. yeah here's the original sticker that I got from them oh, okay yeah bing bong bing bong fucking Fuck life, life. <laughs> <laughs> they did have some different names for their beers which I enjoyed because everybody just kind of names it after like weird stuff or they had, like, whatever the beer yeah is. but they kind of had like original names which is cool like porter. <laughs> Yeah, can I get out? Well, yeah. at, at the sinkhole, that one was funny. What was it called that you laughed at? Amish crack. Or Amish something? crack. Yeah, it was called Amish crack. Yeah, Hoplore would, took a tap takeover of the sinkhole, and it was because I, I was going to get an Imperial Russian style, and I was like, oh, it's too, I think it was like Soviet uh, excursion or something like that, and I was like, twelve point seven percent. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Amish crack was also an Imperial style. It was, it was like eleven th something. Yeah, and there, there was and they had another one um, like thirteen. They had thirteen point four. They had four Imperial styles on tap. Well, which I they never the, knew. Bartender, I can't remember his name. Um, Kevin. Yeah, he said that um, the guy who uh, is the brewer at Hopper was sitting right behind us. So he said, if you had any questions, that you could. Ask him because he was oh, the head brewer. I didn't have any questions. Yeah, he he was the head brewer and he was sitting right there. So was that their tap takeover? Yeah, I guess mm -hmm. last night they had like six or seven of them. I guess it was a tap takeover because they brought stickers and shit. Yeah, hell of a tap takeover. Mm -hmm. Last night? Yes. Yeah, that's why they had like six of their beers on. Oh, there was also everything there was high ABV. It was so. It was hoplor. Yeah, that was all their stuff. Everything. I would have partook if we didn't drink all day. Yeah. Like, if we just went there for a few beers, oh, yeah, I'd have had that Russian Imperial for sure. I would have had two or three. So I was like, oh, I want a stout. And I was like, oh, okay, 12.7%. And I was like, I've already had six. And <laughs> we still got to drive home, which is not very far. But I was like, that's too much. We don't frown drinking and driving. Or we, we, Jesus. <laughs> we, frown, we frown against drinking and driving. We always drink responsibly on the Comcast. I'm definitely more of a, I prefer day drinking over anything else. I'm not a, oh, fuck yeah. I'm not a partier anymore. Day, 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 day drinking is more fun. You still got energy in you, and you can go, and about 5 o'clock, you're done, you eat dinner, and you fucking watch TV and go Unless you're us last night, it was 10 o'clock, you know, we were done. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I had like two at Cedar Creek. When you start during the day in the early afternoon, it's better than starting at like 7. Yeah. I had too much. Yes, you did. We know. <laughs> you were falling asleep, and like, oh, did we go to the sinkhole? And Cody's like, nah, just go home, Ryan. But I was like, drank, no, we can have one. Dude, dude, you drank five beers in two hours. Yeah. We were there for two hours, and you drank five beers. 
doesn't seem like it. And you're even more... You're even it doesn't more, seem like it? It didn't seem yeah. like it. You finished one in 30 seconds. Yeah. But it was funny because... You actually, like, drink beer really fast for some fucking reason. It was just, you know... I think the more you drink, you drink beer faster, which is not... Bad. Like, I feel like when you drink beer, you don't enjoy it. Because you're not you're not sipping on a beer, you're not drinking a beer like taking moderate drinks. Like your drink, you gulp like three times when you take a drink. Yeah, gotta get it in you. Like your drink of beer is this. It's this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then a third of it's gone. <laughs> so three fucking arm lifts to your mouth is a beer, and that can take place over the course of like. Five fucking minutes. I'm excited for North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not. You're Alec Wrangler. He's dude. just doing flights the entire time. <laughs> no, because that's even faster drinking. Flights get you fucked up. Yeah, they but, if you uh, drink two flights, it might only be 40 ounces, which is like two and a half beers. It's mm-hmm. like taking shots. It's like, basically like, t- but you don't drink it like you take shots, though. I, I, you know, know. You, I know. When you take, when you, I've seen you order a flight, you literally take the entire five fucking ounces. That's the thing. You're at gonna, a time. At the at the beer fest next month, you're going to have to stay with me the entire time. You can't leave me. Because <laughs> I will never fucking find you. And when I'm working, uh, there's no way I can fucking cater to you. <laughs> yeah. No. But uh, you it, know, was, I, I, you know, it was just, it's funny because like usually people who are like timid and shy and like, mm-hmm. you know, anxious and all that stuff, they all open up when they get drunk. He gets worse. He gets way worse. He just he just shuts down and just stares at people. Like you said, or when he does try to open up, he says some weird yeah, shit. Yeah, it's just like it's just funny because everybody like opens up and is like having a good time and shit like that. He just like gets worse. He gets he gets more in his head and more anxious. That or he'll walk up to the counter and I'm talking to the people I work with or some people I know. And he'll grab your tit. No, no, no. He'll walk up and he'll just say some weird shit. Yeah. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, you need to calm down. He goes, what do you mean? I was like, you're saying weird shit right now. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense. He goes, oh, yeah, bud? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. Like, huh? Huh? He, like, tries to enter the conversation, but, like, it's not smooth. It's a fucking rocky road. Yeah. It it's a road. mountain. Him entering conversations, like, running down a mountain. Yeah. It's just fucking slam head first. We're going to say some weird shit, and people are either going to hear it, or ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he walked up to me. Eight cats. <laughs> and then he walked up. Yeah, to that's me. the funny thing. You were like, "Oh fuck that cat!" <laughs> somebody's trying to give a cat away. And then last night, uh, your guys' distillery cat. He's like, I was like, you're allergic to cats. Don't go over there and pet that cat. And he's like, oh, but she's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I sent it to that same girl. Fuck that cat. Yeah. The same girl. <laughs> Why did you say fuck that cat? No, like when she was trying to get rid of it, uh, get rid of another cat. Yeah. Like two weeks ago or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, but she's so pretty though. Yeah. She is. She was. <laughs> That's some weird shit. And then we witnessed an affair last night. <laughs> that it, shit was fucking hilarious. It, I never seen somebody backtrack so much. Awkward. That was awkward. It was really awkward, funny. Yeah, I'm was, just sitting here. I'm, I'm standing there with you. And, I was looking at the syrups. Like yeah. the syrups that you guys make. And all I heard was like, no, 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 no. No, he's my best friend's husband's brother. Whatever. And my husband's at home. Yeah, and my husband's at home. Because that makes sense. No. He, es- he was just escorting <laughs> he me escorted to the distillery. He escorted me 30 feet. <laughs> he, escorted- he was just escorting me to the distillery. It's 40 yards. <laughs> it's it's even lit. Like, it's not fucking dark. Yeah, like, it was dark outside, but it- there's light. You can see people. Yeah, but it's like, he was asking where you don't need escorted to the distillery. Well, that was the funny part. It was already awkward, and then we were just standing there talking. And Alex like, I'm going to go back. And, then, and you're like, what? And he's like, I'm going to go back. And they're like, what are you talking about? And like, he wants to go back over to the brewery. And he's like, oh, okay. He's like, you can go back. Like, you're not a child. And then he's like, yeah, we'll just find you in the snow here in a minute. And <laughs> just be passed out in the fucking snow. He waited, though. Making it snowing. He waited the whole time. <clears throat> he did. Good boy. And then you came up. And then, and, then I was talking, and then I was talking to the people I work with. I was talking to the people I work with. And you're like, hey, we're getting ready to go. Alex fucked up. Yeah. And I was like, okay. He's like, I think I'm... And you go... You literally said, I think he's drank five beers in, like the whole time we've been here. I was like, oh, fuck. Okay. He's like, he's fucked up. We're going to get ready to go. I was like, okay. I'll say my goodbyes and I'll grab my jacket. You're like, all right. And you go back and you get him. You guys come back like two minutes later. Yeah. And 
He's like, what's going on, bud? <laughs> I'm just talking to my, I'm just talking to my people. Yeah. He goes, what's going on, bud? And we're like, nothing. Everybody's like, looking at you. Yeah. He's like, nothing. I'm like, you fucked up? And he goes, no. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you were fucked up. And you just go, come on, Alec. <laughs> Your text then, messages were so and then sad. Like, and, then, and then they were like, it's like, yeah, all right. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he had five beers since we got here. And they were like, you've only been here for like two hours. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Ryan, didn't you and I have like three? I think we had like three. I had three. I yeah. had three too. Because I still had to drive from Martinsville down. Yeah, I had three too. We had a very moderate amount. Your yeah. last two were gone in like the last twenty. You just pounding them red ales, bud. Well, you literally said I, you literally you literally said you sat uh-huh. and blew the keg. Oh, you did. You literally said you sat down and it was fucking gone. I watched it. I drink. did. I, I watched the, the Cracker Barrel Peg game. Yeah, I played one game. And then you come up, and then I turn around, and it was like, oh, it was like, oh, did you finish that beer? And I looked, and I was like, that was just full. <laughs> like, because it was full, and I was like, oh, you're going to drink that? I think we're going to leave here in a bit. And then I played one game, and you come up, and then I turn around, and I was like, that motherfucker was just full 30 seconds ago. I swear to God it was. I'm not tripping. It was full. <laughs> He's just looking at me. Oh, no. Yeah. I think you have a problem. I do not have a problem. Are you sure? I don't drink that much. Him's just thirsty. <laughs> yeah, you don't drink that much, but when you do, it's a fucking binge. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, like, the more you drink, the faster you drink, and that means you drinking more in a shorter amount of time. You should not be able to chug an Irish red ale or any kind of other, like, dark beer. You should not be able to chug it. Like I said, your drinks turn into gulps. Like, when I say, hey, you want to taste this? You literally taste it and you're taking gulps of it. You don't even, you don't, like, fill your mouth. A taste is taking a sip, filling, like, half of your mouth up, tasting it, swallowing it. That's a taste. You tip it back and take gulps of it. I don't know how you even taste anything. Your tongue <laughs> your tongue has such a hard time tasting yeah. anything because it's gone <laughs> down your fucking gullet. Here, taste this even, piss. <laughs> if, if tongues were not an advanced scientific human anatomy, <laughs> like a part of our human anatomy and they could taste stuff, your tongue would have a fucking fit because it doesn't get to taste shit. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna. If get you it. didn't have, if you like, if you had like dumbed down, like if you had like half performing taste buds, where you had to like actually try to taste something, your tongue would never taste a fucking. <laughs> everything would just taste like gray to you. Maybe we just need to get him a bunch of like bendy straws, and he has to drink his beer through straws now. I think I think a witch needs to put a curse on you, and everything just tastes like avocado because avocado is just like plain. It's pretty oh, neutral. Oh, it kind of makes me sick. So that's why you I still did. eat it though, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Healthy foods make me sick, but I still eat it. It just tastes nasty. No, yeah, I wish everything you a little chili powder. I wish it? everything you ate and drank tasted like avocado for one day, so you could like give your taste buds some like fucking some some pleasure. You have no mouth pleasure when you drink something. That's not tr- entirely true. I've taught you how to taste beer. You don't. Like literally, it's gone. You, it hits your tongue and it's fucking down your gullet the next it's second. Not entirely true. I showed you how you fucking drink. Yeah. Can I not? Yeah. But I you asked me if you could have a can of my beer in the fridge. Yes. I took a piss. I, I was in the middle of peeing. I thought he brought it with me. <laughs> I was in the middle of peeing. We came here to my house. I was in the middle of taking a piss. And you said, hey, Cody, can I have one of these beers? I was like, sure. It's a 12-ounce can of a porter. And I said, sure. I finished pissing, pissing washed my hands, walk out, and I'm like, are we ready to go? And you're like... Yeah, we were just waiting for you. I was like, I'm ready to go. You're like, okay. You got up, put your coats on, and walked outside. And I made sure I had everything, you know, turned the lights off and locked the doors. And I was like, where's that beer at? And you're like, it's gone. Yeah, we got halfway up there. And I was like, Alex, you bring your beer with you? It was an exchange of like, maybe. like, no, I drink it. <laughs> by the time I <laughs> When? Finished, when did you drink it? By the time I left the bathroom to the time we left was maybe a minute and a half. He's a beer drinking ninja. <laughs> it, it was maybe a minute and a half. I think that he had that. By the time we walked out the door, it was maybe a minute and a half. I think in that entire exchange, he pounded a 12-ounce fucking beer, a porter. that's like 6% alcohol. In maybe 35 seconds. You also had six before you met us at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have a problem, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Who has six beers before, before they, they go, go drink. to drink at a brewery? <laughs> he does. That's the shit you I had to polish off my bush line. See, that's the shit you used to do. Yeah. That, that and that that's why I was like, why did you do that? Because that's the shit you used to do when you actually had a problem with drinking 15 fucking bush lights a day. 
Remember that? That wasn't that long ago. That was like a year ago. <clears throat> that was that was the shit he used to. We were like we were like gonna go to a brewery and like we pick him up and I was he's like like you don't find out until later in the night that he pounded eight fucking beers before we even met you <laughs> and we were gonna go to like two breweries and have a good day and drink all day. He's already pounded eight fucking beers. In an hour before you even picked him up. <laughs> How does that fucking work? That's a binging problem. That's a problem. He does it. <laughs> and that's what you used to do. And then t- last night was the first glimpse of like, oh, I hope he doesn't go back to being a fucking raging alcoholic from Bush Light. <laughs> like, like, yeah, six beers, is, six Bush Lights is a lot of fucking liquid with not a, a, like that much effect. However, you pounded six. How long did you drink them? I'm like, how long did it take you to drink six? Three hours, I think. It took you three hours to drink six bush lights? My fucking ass. You're lying. My fucking ass. You drank five craft beers in two hours. I don't fucking believe you. I don't don't fucking believe you. I don't know how long. You met at Ryan's house. They didn't set a timer. Which means means that we met at Ryan's house. You go to Ryan's house like what, 1.30? Yeah. You started drinking at fucking 10.30? No. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly, motherfucker. Because that's three hours before. Because I don't think... I don't think I even had a buzz when I get it before I even got to it. It's no wonder you had to piss so much. Which means he pounded it before he could drive the 10 minutes to your house because it takes about 10 minutes to hit you. Well, it's funny because he peed right before we left to go to... Because uh... he pound... Because he fucking drank yeah. 60 ounces of fucking liquid before he even showed up. I know. He pissed at my house and then we got literally two minutes down the road. I gotta it's pee again. not two minutes. It was two minutes. It was like, I gotta pee again. I was like, you just peed. We left, it, it took about, it was about 15 minutes. 15 minutes between your pisses. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we got them all You sad. sad now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens when you just have bush slide that you just don't want to drink? You can just throw it away. You don't have to drink it. <laughs> It's yeah. bush light. What you do is you bring it to my house and we'll get the shotguns and we'll just shoot them. <laughs> they have like four or five left. You can. You don't have to drink it. You can just. I'm gonna do laundry and pound beer. Away. <laughs> you don't actually no, have. No. You don't actually have to drink something that's total ass. You can dump it down the drain. Ass, ass, ass. It's nasty. If you decided to quit drinking tomorrow, any alcohol you have in your house, you're just gonna dump it down the drain and throw it away anyway. That's true. Exactly. It's bush light. It ain't gonna hurt nobody's feelings. I've poured all fucking beer on the planet. I poured all kinds of beer down the drain that I didn't want. I have too. I realized one night I was drinking with friends and I was like, I've had too many. I had a whole ass beer. And I was like, mm, no. I just dumped down the fucking drain because I was like, I am not drinking this. I was, I was like, I am fucked up and I am not drinking this. Because I, I already opened it. I took like two steps out of it and then it just hit me. I was like, fuck, dude. I am messed up. So I dumped down the fucking drain. I was like, there's no fucking way. I'm just going to like set it here. Like, sit in here and, dr- like, drink this whole other thing. I was like, I will just be blasted at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be ashamed. I need to pour that new Uber on. Hey, there. like a duck. Okay, good. Like yeah. a duck. Yeah. Today's a whole new day. I know. Today's it. a whole new day. <laughs> like a duck. Like a duck. Like a duck. Like a duck. <laughs> All right. What time are we at? We can end it. All right, let's get the fuck out of this piece. All right, everybody, that is the episode. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for downloading. Of course, we love the absolute fucking shit out of you. Uh, go rate and view whatever platform you're listening on. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Um, but just go right. do it. <clears throat> um, remember, tell somebody you love them. Uh, have a fucking happy week. I uh, hope you enjoy your week. I hope it's not shit like mine probably will be. Um, and I hope it's great. Um Drink a good craft beer and don't inhale it like some people. Um, <laughs> all right, everybody, let's get out of here. Do you have anything you want to leave us with, Alec? Uh, <clears throat> Damn, don't okay. binge drink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect. And if any of you do have a drinking or alcoholic or drug problem, please reach out to a family member or a friend, somebody that loves you, and they can help you get the. They can. They can. They can. They can. They can, they can help make sure you get the. Good point, A bud. <laughs> <laughs> They can get you the help you need. Just Talk to us. We'll haze the fucking yeah. shit out yeah. of you until no, you quit. Don't do that. <laughs> they can get you the help you need. Reach out to a, um, a drug and alcohol rehab service. Just do whatever you can to help yourself. AA is not for in, 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 in reality, do reach out to somebody that loves you and they can help you out. Um, they're here for you. They love you. Uh, it's not worth it. Uh, so, love the fuck out of you guys. As always, go check out Floyd County Brewing Company. I was very surprised and the vibe was great. Super cool medieval themed brewery in New Albany, Indiana. Good beer, good food, good people. 
But go check them out today. As always, drink responsibly. And remember, when well, life gets hard, and life gets you down. Don't be so fucking awkward, bud. Let's get the fuck out of here. Love the fuck out of y'all. Milk that motherfucking pig. Peace. We out.